The Android 12 or the One UI version 4 update is coming later this year and I thought let me make a video showing you guys exactly which Samsung Galaxy flagship phone is eligible to get this update. Hey guys, Tech Guy Charlie here, welcome back to the channel. So what I've done is I've made a list of which Samsung Galaxy flagship smartphones are eligible to get the One UI version 4 or the Android 12 update. Now you have to keep in mind that Samsung has not yet officially announced which phones will get the updates nor they have announced the official date of when the update is gonna come out. But from my experience, the Android 12 or the One UI version 4 update should be out by about December or January for this phone, the Note 20 Ultra, followed by the Note 10 Plus and the S10 Plus later in 2022. But yeah, whenever Samsung releases the official dates, I will make another video. Okay, so starting off with the Galaxy Note series, obviously the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which is this phone, and the regular Note 20 will be getting the Android 12 update. Oh, and if you guys don't know, the Note 20 series will be the Samsung flagship Note series for the rest of the year because there will be no Note 21. Next up, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is this phone, will be getting the Android 12 or the One UI version 4 update. Now, Samsung has promised the Galaxy Note 10 series and the S10 series will get three major Android updates. And these phones came out with Android 9. So this phone got the Android 10 upgrade, it got the Android 11 upgrade, and finally it will get the Android 12 upgrade, which will be its final major Android update. So that means if you have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the S10 Plus, you're good enough for the year 2022 and even 2023 because even in 2023, Android 12 is going to be a fairly new operating system. So these two phones are still good enough if you want to continue using them throughout the year 2022. Now interestingly, the Galaxy Note 10 Lite is also on the list. If you don't know, the Galaxy Note 10 Lite has the same chipset that comes with the Galaxy Note 9. So technically, the chipset inside this phone is capable of running Android 12 aka One UI version 4. So if Samsung wanted, they can also update this phone, but I don't think they're gonna do it because hey, planned obsolescence. But I'm guessing there will be plenty of aftermarket ROMs that you can flash onto this phone and this is still one of the best Android phones I've ever used. It's even got a headphone jack. So that pretty much covers the Galaxy Note series. Let's move on to the Galaxy S series, starting with the Galaxy S21. So the Galaxy S21 Ultra, S21 Plus, and the S21 will be getting the Android 12 or the One UI version 4 update. Now the S21 series being the latest as of June 2021 will also get Android 13, 14 and maybe Android 15 in the future. So if you really want a future proof phone, you might want to pick up the S21. Next moving on to the last year's 2020 S20 series, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, S20 Plus, S20 and the S20 Fan Edition will be getting the Android 12 update. These phones will also get Android 13 and Android 14. Now moving on to the Galaxy S10 series, the Galaxy S10 5G, the Galaxy S10 Plus which I've got over here, the Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10e and finally the Galaxy S10 Lite will also get Android 12 upgrade. And just like the Galaxy Note 10 series, the Android 12 will be the final update for the Galaxy S10 series. But like I've just said, these phones will be good enough to use even in the year 2023 because from what I know, Android adoption rate is pretty slow. So even in 2023, Android 12 will be a fairly decent and good operating system. Unfortunately, the hardware is going to be pretty old in these phones, but I think they will be pretty usable and I will be making follow up videos for these phones. Now, as for the Galaxy S10 Lite, I think this might get the Android 13 upgrade, although don't quote me on that because this phone, the S10 Lite is a fairly new phone, came out in February 2020. But yeah, let's wait until Samsung makes the final announcement. So I'm guessing that does it for the Samsung S series phones. Let's move on to the foldable Z series phones. So starting with the Galaxy Fold, it will get the Android 12 upgrade. It will be the final upgrade for this phone. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 will be getting the update along with the Galaxy Z Flip and this also includes the Z Flip 2 and the Z Fold 3 which will be announced in August of 2021. Okay, so now let's move on to the Galaxy M series. And M series is Samsung's entry level to mid range lineup of smartphones. I've also written down the launch date of these phones so that it gives you a better idea when the phone was launched. Okay, so the Galaxy M42 
M12 and the M62 will be getting the Android 12 update. I think they will also get Android 13 upgrade because they're fairly new phones. Came out in the year 2021. Next up we have the Galaxy M02s and the M02. Now I think Android 12 One UI version 4 will be the final update for these two phones because they are entry level phones. Next up the Galaxy M21, M21s, M31 and the M31s might get the Android 12 upgrade but I'm really not sure if these four smartphones will be getting the update because they are pretty old and you have to also consider these are mid range smartphones. So we will really have to wait for Samsung to officially announce if they are going to update these phones or not. Next up we have the Galaxy M51. This is a fantastic phone. I actually have the M51 right here. So whenever Samsung updates this phone to Android 12, I'll make a video on it and let you guys know how the update is like. So I think that pretty much covers the M series phones. Now let's move on to the Galaxy A series phones. The Galaxy A72, A52, A32, A22 and the Quantum 2 will be getting the update. This also includes 5G and LTE models. And these are all 2021 phones so obviously they will get the Android 12 and the 13 upgrade. Next moving on the Galaxy A02, A02s, these two will also get the update however I think this will be the final Android update because these are kind of like entry level phones. Moving on the Galaxy A42, A71, A11, A31, A41, A21, A21s, A12, A01, A51 and A90 will also get the update. However, again, I'm not sure if A01, A51 and A90 5G is going to get the update or not because hey, these are fairly old phones, especially the A51 and A90 5G. These are from the year 2019. So you have to keep in mind and being mid-range smartphones, I really don't think they will get the update. But yeah, once again, like I said, let's wait for Samsung to officially announce which models are supported. So that does it for the Galaxy A series. Let's move on to the tablets. So let's start from 2021 models. The Galaxy Tab S7 FE and the Tab A7 Lite, both of them will be getting the One UI version 4 update. They also will get the Android 13 upgrade because these are fairly new tablets. They aren't even out yet in the market as I'm recording this video. Next, moving on, the Tab S7 Plus. The Tab S7, both of them will obviously get the Android 12 upgrade. The Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, the Tab S6, Tab A 8.4, Tab A7 10.4 and the Galaxy Tab Active 3. All of these will get the One UI version 4 or Android 12 upgrade. However, I think the Galaxy Tab S6 might not get the update because this tablet is from the year 2019, came out in August. But I'm not sure, Samsung might update this, they might not. Uh, but the thing is, for all of these models, One UI 4 will be the final update. Samsung's also got some F-series phones. I think these are just rebranded M-series phones. So out of these, the F52, F12, F62, F02s, and the F41, all of them will get the Android 12 update. However, the F02s is an entry-level phone, so the Android 12 update will be its final update. And the F41 is a slightly older phone, so that is why the Android 12 update will be the final update for this phone. So that covers the F-series. And guys, I've tried to be as accurate as I can be by cross-checking my list with the list on sammobile.com and GSM Arena. I think this list is fairly accurate, although we will have to wait for Samsung to make the official announcement. So I apologize if there are any errors in this list, but I would say that 99% this list is fairly accurate. So I guess that pretty much covers all of the Android 12 or One UI 4 eligible devices from Samsung. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I will be making an updated list as Samsung makes an announcement. And guys, make sure to follow me on my social media accounts. I'll put all the links in the video description and please subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.